Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Joshua with another custom toy reveal. And uh, this afternoon, I would like to show off to you guys the newest addition to my Power Rangers collection. Uh, this is the White Ranger Lightning Collection. And I got them in the mail like, you know, 15, 20 minutes ago. And uh, bought them on eBay for about 20 bucks with uh, shipping and handling, which really it wasn't that bad of a deal. But um, this is actually the very first Lightning figure that I, you know, bought. Uh, with me, I prefer the light, the uh, Legacy Collection because they're more, uh, uh, more uh, cooler looking in my opinion. But um, now I've been watching the uh, Lightning uh, line for a while now, and I just uh, figured it was time for me to buy one and just see what the uh, big fuss was about. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty cool looking figure. I've had it out of package for about, you know, 10-15 minutes now, just, uh, you know, going, going around the figure, seeing what's, you know, really cool about it. And it's got some pretty good, you know, joints all around. The uh, leg joints are kind of stiff, which is, you know, totally all right. You know, the uh, angle joints rock back and forth, so that's pretty cool. And the uh, feet, pretty fucking, pretty fucking stiff. So that's, that's pretty cool. One of the things I do like about this figure, though, it has these weird, weird um, uh, shoulder pad joints, which are pretty cool. This is what I really like, really like about the newer figures they're coming out with in general. That they're actually, you know, giving the figures more joints. And as you can see, it can move back and forth. So that's pretty cool. And does it have a joint right here? Uh, yes, it does. Cool. I don't want to break it, but you can see a joint right in there so it can do its thing, swivel around and such. But uh, yeah, I bought this figure for about 20 bucks. And the main reason why I bought it was because I'm going to dye this figure a different color. And it's going to be fucking awesome. I thought about dyeing it red, but you know, a red tiger ranger wouldn't really look too great in my opinion. You know, because people people could be like, oh, it's just uh, Jason, no big deal. Fuck Jason. <laughs> Not Jason's pretty cool, but you know. Obviously, my favorite is uh, Tommy the Green Ranger, or in this case, the White Ranger. You know, Tommy was pretty badass. Really liked him. But um yeah, he's got a bunch of uh, accessories, and he's got, you know, two different types of hands and blaster and a little blaster explosion thing and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Um, one of the things I don't like about the figure is by looking at it, it looks like he doesn't have like a neck or anything, you know, it's kind of, his head sits a little low. So it kind of looks like he has no neck, but I can probably, you know, fix it. But uh, yeah, here's some of the accessories. You know, here's the uh, you know two hands I was talking about. I'm not gonna take those out of the package because I don't want to lose them. Here's the weird you know explosion thingy majigger, and there's a nice little slot uh, right in there, so you can put a you know, saba in it. I guess I don't know. Mm. The uh, Saba uh, sword is, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty stiff compared to the uh, Legacy line. Let's see if we can get a closer look at it on the actual sword. It's probably, it's probably as great as we're going to get it. Focus, you son of a bitch. I just want to focus. Fuck you. But anyways, yeah. They put some pretty good detail in it. You know, the sob is all silver and such. You have the White Ranger emblem right there on the hilt. And it's pretty nice looking. And by the looks of it, the, um, you can't really see on the camera because I got a shitty camera, which is weird because I just bought this phone brand new. But, um, they didn't color in the eyes red. So that's kind of shitty. But the details on Saba's face is pretty awesome. 
And of course, the uh, you know the sword compared to a legacy one. This one, this one is almost like twice as small. But um, apparently, he can hold it with his hand. I hope, because if I can't, I'm gonna be very very pissed. Not really. Fuck. His hand's fucking stiff. It's like a fucking rock. Yeah, his uh, hand, his uh, hands and his fingers are so like stiff right now that I can't even put the sword in there, dude. What the fuck? No, I'm gonna get in there whether it does want to fit or not. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like rape, whether you like it or not. It's gonna happen. Dude, come on. Mm. Yeah, I've been actually reading reviews and seen uh, video reviews on how hard it is to get this motherfucker to hold the sword. And I didn't realize just how tough it was going to be. But, you know, back to the sword. I guess you can shove it right in there. Hmm. Don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, last I checked, Saba didn't shoot fucking uh, blue lasers or explosions out of the tip of the sword. I know that floats around and you know will occasionally shoot like laser out lasers out of its eyeballs, but I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about that. And uh, last but not least. They have the, uh, well, included, they also have the, uh, you know, just the regular uh, Tommy Oliver uh, head sculpt, which is pretty cool. I was reading on the internet, and I guess what they did was they took um, different types of pictures from a TV show from the 90s, and they did, like, a 3D uh, model of it and sculpted it out, and this is what they came out with. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's really weird though, if you look really, really close, he kind of looks like he's cross-eyed, you know. And let's just hope that our White Ranger isn't a cockeyed. You know, when I'm fighting the team and accidentally, you know, killing one of his uh, teammates instead of a fucking putty. But uh, yeah, the eyeballs have this weird, like, glossy uh, look on them. And uh, when you rotate the head back and forth like this, it looks like he's actually looking around. Uh, my own personal opinion, that's kind of freaky, you know, especially if I uh, decided to take this figure and, you know, set him on a uh, on a shelf in my bathroom when I'm taking a shit. I'm going to have that weird, you know, feeling that somebody's staring at me and judging me for taking a shit. I would have to, like, you know, cover my face up. Please don't look at me, Tommy. Don't judge me while I'm taking a shit. Yeah, fuck you, Tommy. Fuck you for judging me when I take a shit. Fucking, fucking shove you up my ass or something. I'll show you. Yeah. But you know, apparently the heads can be switched out, so that's pretty cool. So let's give that a whirl. <sighs> Motherfucker. And so the heads are on the ball joint, so that's pretty cool. That's completely different from the Legacy line. On the Legacy line, they have a, they have a weird little, uh, like a cylinder shaped, like, best way to describe it is if you had those like, candies called that Rolos, which are that weird like cylinder bell shaped like look to them. They're, they're pretty fucking good, but you know, besides the point that Rolos are fucking delicious. Um, that's essentially what the ball joint looks like with the legacy line, like, like a Rolo instead of an actual ball. And also with the legacy line, they have this little pin right here that you can actually take out and customize and do whatever head you want. So that's pretty cool. But in in this case, I'm not really sure how the uh, ball joints like held on there. You would think that you know after taking the heads off over and over and over again that the ball joint would you know essentially like pop right out, you know. But um, let's see how this works. Mm. 
you're gonna fit in there whether you like it or not. <sighs> there we go. Now I actually prefer the, uh, mm, that's fucking tight. That's what she said. But you know, I actually, again, I actually prefer the, uh, the Tommy head over the, uh, the White Ranger head. It's, it, it looks more authentic in my opinion. I, after putting this, this, uh, head on, I actually like the figure more. Let's see if he can hold his helmet. Get the old, like, 1990s look to him. Hi. He's like, uh, hi, my name is, uh, my name is Tommy Oliver. I used to be the Green Ranger, but I'm white. And, uh, the only thing I'm missing now is, uh, I passed out Kimberly, a overly dramatic, passed out Kimberly laying on the ground. Actually, you know what? I found a, uh, Kim Kimberly Lightning today when I was at GameStop getting one of those, uh, little paint off my Lord Draken. He's supposed to be in here in about a week or so, but, you know, I went there to, uh, finish off to reserve my Draken and, uh, Found the Kimberly Light in there for twenty two bucks. I thought about buying it, but I was like, dude, I'm not gonna spend fucking twenty two dollars on this figure. I'm, I'm just gonna wait until the uh, price goes down. And now the reason I know the prices are gonna go down is because that's what happened with uh, the, the Legacy line. It wasn't up until about two months ago when the prices just started, you know, dropping. And two months ago, I know the. Uh, the Psycho Ranger line for Legacy, they're still going for like 40 bucks. And now I can pick one up, you know, black, red, or blue for about 17 give or take. I'm still uh, looking for the uh, White Ranger Legacy. I have one still in the package, but I need another one because I'm going to turn that one to another, you know, Black Lord Dragon. But I will see how that, you know, little journey goes. Hopefully I'll get one pretty soon. But yeah, overall, the figure is, you know, it's pretty nice. It's decent. In my opinion, it was worth 20 bucks. Um, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, guys. I'm so hot and bothered. Mmm. Jason makes me hot and bothered. Oh, hey. Here we go. Oh, hey. We all knew the, we all knew the White Ranger was a fucking flamer. Oh, oh that's cool. He's got a spool joint. That's awesome. App crunch. Sweet. Let's see. Give me a Z Heil. Z Heil. Yeah. Overall, it is a you know pretty awesome figure. I like the uh, the mask. Well, the helmet sculpt. You know, it came out pretty decent. It almost looks exactly the same as the Legacy, but maybe a little bit smallerish, which is you know pretty cool. But um, overall, I'll give this figure about an eight out of ten. And uh, the reason why I say eight out of ten is this, you know one for the uh, neck. The neck problem when the helmet is on, it just looks like he has no neck. And uh, the other thing I don't really care for the figure is the fact that I can't really put a fucking sword in his hand. And as far as I can you know, think of right now, the only way I can loosen this up is if I toss in some hot water for about you know 10-15 seconds to loosen the plastic up. And uh, one of the other things I don't like about the figure, three things. You know, that no neck, the hand that's pissing me off, and the uh, 
and the way the suit, the way the suit looks, I mean, the suit's pretty cool and everything. I like how they made the suit look like he was actually wearing, you know, a Power Ranger suit. But um, I think what they should have done is they they should have, you know, kind of tightened the suit up a little bit, like maybe give it some wrinkles. But you know, if, if you look right here in the in the arm section, it looks like he's wearing like a fucking shirt, you know. When in the show, everybody knows he was wearing like a fucking uh, unitard, you know. Spandex. You know, something tight. At least, at least, you know, showing off his ass. Uh, I'm not really too upset about it. But, um, yeah, Drew, it kind of sucks how baggy, baggy the, um, the suit looks on him. I didn't get a good look at the uh, Kimberly Ranger, but I'm assuming hers is much more tighter. Which, you know, I think all the other Rangers should have been you know, a, little, a little bit tighter uh, spandex. But, um, yeah, I give him 8 out of 10. He's pretty cool looking. And I'm going to be doing another review on this guy shortly. I'm going to turn him into an evil uh, tiger ranger. And if you guys want to guess what color I'm going to make him, you know, draw some comments. Who knows, maybe I'll do a red one. I'll do red, yellow, blue, green, black, gray. Whatever color you guys can think of, you know, drop a uh, comment below and, you know, make an educated guess. Who knows, maybe you'll guess right. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for this figure. Pretty cool guy. He's definitely going to stay in my collection for a little bit until I toss him back on eBay and just see how much money I can get. After he's customized. But, uh, yeah, if you guys like my videos, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.